buddy. Yes, today is Thursday, January 6th of 2011, and I wanted to wish everybody a happy and healthy new year. Finally, we're in 2011. So much has happened in 2010. And before I go forward, I want to let everybody know again, yes, I'm Stuart Schlossen of MS Views and News and Stu's Views and MS News. And you can find us on the internet at msviewsandnews.org, or you can find me on my blog at Stu's Views and MS News, or you can find us on Facebook at MS Views and News. Um, it's facebook.com slash MS Views and News. We have a chat board page for the MS patients. We have a chat board page now for the caregivers. Yes, this is something totally new. Um, I put this together uh, several weeks ago, and already we have caregivers on there that get to communicate with each other and know that they are not alone. Just like you, the patient, many times have questions and comments for other patients. The caregiver has that, that they need to know that they're not alone either, and that you know they can share their, their similar stories with each other. You know, 2010 was a great year for many things. I mean, first off, we had a uh, oral medication that was finally FDA approved and people are getting started on that. Uh, CCSVI, of course, ripped the headlines um, and that is chronic cerebral spinal venous insufficiency and people are getting treated with the liberation treatment. Does it work for everybody? No. Does it work for some? Yes. Are there those that have to have it because there's nothing else available for them? Absolutely yes. Um, especially those with primary progressive. I mean, they're looking for something, so maybe it can work for them in some sort of way, and maybe not. The, there are pros, there are cons um, to, you know, for this treatment as well as anything else that's out there. There's always pros and cons for everything in life. So um, that being said, um, you know, there's also the stem cell issue. More and more is being studied on stem cells. Should it yet be used for multiple sclerosis? Probably not. Um, many people say that it works great for them, but how many times are they getting treated and um, how much is it costing? I mean, it's extremely expensive. Um, and, and I personally know that there are stem cell research centers throughout the world that I'm sure that when they actually it, you know, are able to do something that is working, we'll know about it. It'll be on CNN. It'll be on other major news sites. So, um, again, yes, so much has happened in 2010 that's better for us with MS. Um, and, you know, uh, we're hoping that 2011 brings even more great new strides. CCSBI is going to be researched further, especially in Canada, where the uh, outpouring of, of MS patients has actually caused um, the government up there to say, yes, we're going to look more into it. So that's one big news factor. Another news factor, of course, is that we might have an oral ther another oral therapy be released in 2011, and um, once that happens, uh, you know, it'll be easier for people to do medications. The bottom line is, is that everybody needs to be on some sort of medication because the disease is probably worsening for you if you're not using some DMD, disease-modifying drug, therapy. Okay, so get on to something because quality of life is quite important for everybody. Life is an unexpected turn of how long it's actually going to be for you. So you want to live best as you can. And to do so, you need to be on some sort of a medication, whatever it might be. All right, so um, I want to thank you, the patient. I want to thank any caregivers that are watching this. I want to thank any healthcare professionals that might be watching this or healthcare providers whoever you might be, whether a doctor, a nurse, nurse practitioner, um, uh, a person that uh, um, just, you know, assists um, in a medical facility of any type. And also, you know, we want to thank um, all of our sponsors that we've had in 2010, and we hope to have that many more in 2011. MS Views and News will continue to provide educational um, information via the Internet and via local seminars, local being to the South Florida area. Hopefully we'll soon get to North Florida and then maybe expand out into the rest of the country. So for now though, I want to thank you all again for being with us in 2010, 2009 prior to that, and as we go forward in life starting now in 2011 and then onward into later years. Okay, thank you again for listening and um, 
and keep coming back to us, okay? Thank you very much.